All right, guys, injuries from the game. Um, Renardo, just his toe, he'll be day-to-day -day here. Um, Kittle had some hamstring irritation today, so we'll see how the week goes with him, see how he feels on um, Wednesday. Um, and same thing with uh, Mitch Wisnowski, uh, with his, his back flared up a little, so we're going to evaluate some treatment options this week and see how he d deals uh, in these next couple of days. Uh, and that's it from the game. Go ahead. Kyle, did you feel the need to address with, with the players the situation that occurred after uh, Jake's final missed field goal? Um, I, I didn't initially. I mean, I didn't initially. I mean, after the game and stuff, I, I mean, I didn't think it was too big of a deal. But, you know, after getting home and seeing it all on SportsCenter and everything and all that stuff, I wanted to make sure I did and talk to the guys about it, talk to a number of guys on the team, and uh, we squashed it and we're good. You're satisfied with, with where things stand now? Oh, yeah, totally. I think it was a little bit overreaction. And, um, you know, um, I don't think, you know, you never want Debo to throw a baby punch or anything on anybody on our own team. But um, Debo also wasn't saying anything bad to Jake like it sounded. He was um, meeting him on the field, telling him to lock in. You know, the same thing I'll tell to an offensive player is just drop some balls or – made some penalties or something, you never sit there and belittle anybody or try to embarrass anyone. You try to challenge guys that you believe in and a way of that's how we speak to each other and telling someone they need to focus and lock in because we know you can do this. And uh, I like Pep's intentions on it. I mean, he's got his kickers back, and but I, I think he kind of interpreted wrong what Debo was doing to him and overreacted a little bit. Um, and Debo didn't like that and got him out of his face. And that's really about where it ended. Kyle, do you have in-house fines for that kind of thing, or does this not rise to that level? No, I, I find people for breaking rules. Um, mm -hmm. this, this is just people being football players and dealing with stuff on the sidelines, and um, I didn't really mm -hmm. chalk that up to a big deal at all. Okay. Uh, Kyle, Nick Bosa said afterwards he was affected by his uh, – his hip issue and that he, you know, that kind of affected his play. He still got a couple of late pressures and a sack. Did he come out of this game okay? Uh, yeah, he came out all right. Um, I mean, I'm sure it's sore and stuff. But, you know, anytime you miss most of the week of practice and everything, that's going to affect you. Uh, he battled hard throughout the game, and I thought he was real impressive there on those uh, last two drives, the one getting the sack and a couple run plays that he did there inside the 10, where I thought he did a good job too. What's the uh, what's the coaching point for Darrell Luter on that play? Is it just to be aware where the returner is at all times? No, oh, without a doubt, something you got to talk about a lot because I mean everybody coaches um, gunners to push the jammers into the punt returner, especially on a high punt like that, and um, so it's something that you got to be aware of. You got to always get out of the way at the last second, or those guys will always try to drive you into the punter. Uh, it's your job to get out of the way. It's not the punter's job to the punt returner to look at you. Do you anticipate opening the the windows for any players this week, as far as off an injury list? Um, and I think we're gonna get Conley back this week. Um, we'll see on Kevin. Um, I don't expect us to do it to Dre this week. Um, so no, no new guys. Kyle, at the start of the season, you, you mentioned sort of a, a desire to avoid having Christian take, you know, a, have a ton of touches like he did last year. Does him does him being out affect that, or where do you sort of feel on that in terms of, you know, he he was wrote he wrote him pretty hard in his first game back. Uh, I don't think we wrote him pretty hard, but um, no, I think we're good with it, and we'll see how this year goes. That was our first game with him. I think he had 19 touches. Um, I think it's a little less than he had last year, but, um, you know, it was our first game back with him, and we didn't want him to go too many series in a row. We started taking him out. I think we did it in between two series in the first half, and once we only had one drive in the third quarter and we got into that fourth quarter, we weren't taking him out on the fourth. So we'll see how the year goes with it. Hey, Kyle, what's, what's the up, any update on uh, Charvarius, and what, what do you expect uh, timing-wise on his return? Um, I think there's a chance for him to come back this week. You know, just talking to him over the weekend. I haven't got a chance to talk to him today, so um, probably do that sooner than later and see where he's at. But I got no updates right now. Kyle, when uh, when Feliciano was downgraded to out, did he have a setback, or is that just something you do when you're not going to play him? 
No, that's just something you do when you're not going to play them. Okay. The addition of Nick McLeod today, is that kind of looking at special teams and, and needing a, an injection of, of a player who can help you in that area? Sorry, what's that? You went out. It, the uh, I'm sorry. The uh, you guys added Nick McLeod, a cornerback, uh, to the practice squad today. Is that? Uh, do you anticipate him making an, an immediate contribution on special teams? Uh, no, I don't think it was like that. I know probably getting a vet uh, with Gippen here and um, releasing Amos and stuff. Just how it chalks up, and just getting another guy in here for depth. You know, Chase Lucas is also. Um, helps out a lot, a lot on our scout team. He's had a calf here, so he wasn't able to practice last week. Won't be able to this week either. Kyle, if, Kyle, if you remove the last names on the jerseys, the last two games, it seems like Devondre Campbell's been one of you guys' best defenders. Uh, did something click? Did it take a couple months for him to get used to your style of football? Uh, how would you describe what you've seen from Campbell in the past couple of weeks? Yeah, I thought, I thought, uh, I think you're accurate on that. I think um, versus Dallas, I thought Dallas was his best game of the year, and I thought um, this game was maybe even better. So I've always, Devondre's a very good player. Um, he's done it. He did it in Atlanta. He did it in Arizona. He's done it in Green Bay. Uh, and he's done some real good things here. It's just getting used to our scheme, and um, he gets better and better each week. And But uh, these last two games have been his best, and he's getting more confidence playing in it, just our style and kind of how we do things, just, you know, everything's a little bit different and playing next to all new guys and everything, but I couldn't be more happy with him and um, his journey throughout this year. How oh, after data think about think that- uh, Jake Moody's performance, any, any thread to his misses when you watch it or, or what, I mean, there's been a lot of chatter obviously about his tough day. How do you, how do you view it 24 hours later? Uh, not much different. I mean, he missed three kicks. I, I thought it was a, you know, it wasn't the easiest place to kick in. It's the wind was weird, especially the direction that he missed the the stuff. It was it was different, um, but it was you know a few big kicks and came back and hit his first game winner on a walk off. So thought he finished it well and um, move on to next week with it. Okay, two more guys. Kyle, how did you feel about the play of the uh, of the back end on, uh, of the secondary? I mean the. The pass rush wasn't always there, but they seemed to hold up pretty well, particularly the, the rookies, Green and Mustafa. Yeah, I thought they did a real good job. Um, you know, they eliminated some big plays. The one time they got us on a double move, um, Renardo did a hell of a job of recovering and getting that get to getting the ball out without getting a PI. Um, you know, just with not having Mooney, um, with Renardo going out in the game, you know, Rock even coming in, had a penalty, but then had the huge play at, um, on the goal line. Um, that, that stopped them and made them settle for a field goal instead of a touchdown. And I, I thought I had a hell of a game. I thought those guys did a real good job.